Welcome to another tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how you can download elevation data uh, from different sources of data. So as you can see here I have uh, logged into my account for Earth Explorer USGS. If you don't have an account make sure you create an account so head over to your Chrome or your browser and search USGS then you will be directed on how you can create an account. So make sure you click on the link, then uh, create an account. There are some few questions you are supposed to answer as you create your account. After you've created your account, you will be directed to your Gmail that you registered so that you can log into the portal. Now, after you've logged into the portal, you will see something like this. As you can see, I'm logged into the USGS Earth Explorer. I'll leave this link in the description so that you guys can also follow along. Now if you want to download your data, you can download different types of data, uh, Landsat data and also elevation data, there are many. In this video I will show you how you can download the elevation data. So make sure you are on this page. I'm going to zoom into my place of interest so let's say maybe I want to download uh, data from, let's say somewhere around here. This is Kenya, so this is uh, possibly Mount Kenya. I'm going to plot or draw a polygon. So just click on the map and then you will draw the polygon. As you do that, it, it, it highlights here the latitude and longitude, uh, the coordinates of your polygon so you will see them here <coughs> in this uh, sidebar after that you have to come to data sets so up here in the menu click on data sets then you will look for digital elevation so click on digital elevation on the this plus icon then down here to srtm so you can see how different types so we have the srtm one arc second global this one has the 30 meter uh, resolution so if you click on this one and uh, scroll down to results so click on results it's going to load and you can see how different results here so for you to make sure you you are selecting at the place you want with the corresponding tile you can click on the first icon here that says show footprint so click on footprint and you can see we have the first the first tile is here which is not uh, which is like far far away from the tile or from the polygon that we want so we try to look for the second one if you click on this icon here you can see it also still far from where we want uh, you can click on this uh, still far from what we want and if I click on the last one you can see it is almost three quarter of the polygon that we just drew so if you are here you can see download this and use this data for your analysis so if you click on this icon then it is going to load the downloads and you can choose from these options so Make sure you choose the last one which is GeoTIFF. This is the, the image and it is already georeferenced. That's why it is GeoTIFF. So if you download this, it is going to download the, the elevation image that you can use for data analysis. And um, yeah, the other source of data is the RCMRD. So make sure you search RCMRD dot africa geoportal dot com and here you are going to find this website of course you will find the other one you find something like this so you come here and search for elevation data if you load this it's going to highlight some data that is available in the geoportal and here you can see it's saying uh, 1 to 20 of 343 results it means there is a lot of data here and you can use for your own analysis now you can 
also come down here because I am in Kenya and I wanted to download for Kenya. I came here and said Kenya is at EM, DEM 30 meters. So if you click on this, if you are in Kenya or wherever in the world, you have to click on the data that you want. So if I click on this, it's going to download a zipped file that contains uh, the images that I want to use for elevation. After that, I'm going to open my QGIS. So this is the software that is used, is open source and is used to do, to create maps and also do geospatial data analysis. So this is QGIS. And uh, if you want to add the raster image that you have, so you head over to layer, click on layer, add layer, and then add, add raster layer. So here, I'm going to add uh, my SRTM that I downloaded. It is a zipped file, so make sure you extract and store somewhere in a folder that you will be working on. So I already loaded this one. I'm just going to click on add. So add and then close. As you can see, this is the elevation for the whole country. This is Kenya. If you want to work with a specific place, because I know maybe you don't want to work with a large area like this one, you want to narrow down to a specific, let's say county or maybe a town. I'm going to also add the shape files. So if I go to layer, add layer and add vector layer, I'm going to add the data that I have for the counties in Kenya. So you click on add. And then I can close this. So here I have this. If I uncheck one of these, you can see uh, I have the data. Now the next thing is to ensure that I want to select my specific place. So let's say maybe I want to work with uh, Nairobi. This is the the place. This is the county. I have to select this and then extract the polygon of the county alone then from there i can uh, also mask the elevation from the whole country and remain with my specific location so here if you have this i'm going to click on this icon that says um, select features by freehand so if you drop down you can see it says select features uh, select feature by polygon select features by freehand select features by radius so I'm going to choose select feature by freehand so that I have uh, the freedom to choose whatever I want. So if I select this, you can see I've selected the county. Now I come here to the layers panel where we have the counties and uh, export and export then save selected features as. So I'm going to save this selected feature as. I have to navigate to where I want to save this. So let's say maybe I want to save this as as Nairobi. Of course, it is a shape file. Uh, make sure you choose here from the format to be the S3 shape file. After that, uh, I click on OK. Then I have my county. So if I uncheck the counties and the elevation, you can see I still have my shape file here, the polygon. So if I check the elevation, you can see this is this is where I want to mask. So I have to come to raster and then extraction, then clip raster by mask layer. So if I click on that, I'm going to select the SRTM 30 meters the image so this one this layer is the input layer and then the mask layer it is here too. so this is the shape file then uh, if I want to save I can scroll down and say I want to save to file but now I don't want to save you can just leave the 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 default which will save it as temporary file so now if I come here and run and then close, now I've masked the 
elevation to the place where I want to work with. So I can uncheck uh, uncheck this one. And now I have my uh, my my elevation data for the specific place. So this is Nairobi. Now this is the data I want to work with and uh, it's just as simple as that. Thank you. I uh, will see you in the next one.